morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Finds TV. I'm Jason Peña. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, October 25th, 2023. Now let's go to Nia for Today in History. Thank you, Jaisleen. Hi, Patriots. In today's history on October 25th, 1870, postcards were first used in the U.S. If you didn't know, postcards are cards that people would mail to friends and family while traveling. Back then, people communicate through letters, so postcards were an easy way to talk to others while traveling. Postcards aren't used as often today. They have since been replaced by texting and calling. Even though postcards have lost their popularity, they were very, very popular for their time. Today, there is a whole day dedicated to postcards. Have you ever met a postcard? Now let's go to Captain for today's lunch. Thank you, Nia. Today's lunch is macaroni and cheese, seasoned breadstick, chicken patty sandwich, seasoned green beans, fresh broccoli, buttermilk ranch dressing, pineapple tidbits, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is Blueberry orange muffins, apple spice muffins, Lucky Charms, Cocoa Puff cereal bar, string cheese, fresh banana, 100% grape juice, and your taste of milk. Students, please keep in mind that lunch menu can change at any time. It's always bring your lunch card. And don't forget to let your teachers know if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, let's go back to Jay's lean. Thank you, Captain. That sounds appetizing. Tomorrow, grades 7 through 8 will be able to have their turn at the Pages store. Our parent open house was yesterday. I hope you all learned a thing or two. Wow, isn't it cool? The book fair is here with no time to lose. Unicorn is perfect. Everybody thinks so. His heart is shiny. His coat is clean. His tail is as purple as a dream. Even his best kitty corn friend thinks so. You're perfect. But when a mistake makes Unicorn feel like a big, ugly goof, he starts to worry. If he's not perfect all the time, will Kitty even want to be his best friend anymore? From the best-selling creators of Itty Bitty Kitty Corn comes a sweet story about the messiness and magic of friendship. Look for it at your Scholastic Book Fair. Look at the schedule to see when your class is going unless you're in middle school with cash. Just make sure to tell your teachers in order to go. Patriots, remember to keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And remember, there is no chewing gum in the school. Please spit it out before entering the building. Patriots, the Barnyard Dance is this Friday. This dance is only for K-5. through It's $5. Today is the last day to pay. I know you guys won't be disappointed. Jeepers Creepers, it's our Fall Festival. The Fall Festival is this week on Saturday. In order to attend, you can buy tickets on myschoolbucks.com. Remember to stay scary. Now let's shine over to Daniela for today's weather. Hey Patriots, today's weather is 82 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. It's a great day to go to the beach. In other weather news, heavy rain caused a mudslide to stop a new commuter rail service. A mudslide is created when large amounts of water gather up to cause rapid soil to move on a steep slope. This was a huge problem because it didn't allow the trains to work, meaning no one could travel on them, even the workers were stuck in the mud. I hope everyone was safe and sound. Now let's go to Giselle for today's birthdays. Thank you, Daniela. Today, we only have one belated birthday boy, which was Orlando Stefford. Happy birthday! And now let's go back to Jaceline. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are your past expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. No teachers had the correct answer to yesterday's challenge, which was a riddle. How many months have 21 days? The correct answer was all the months have at least 21 days. Today's daily challenge is Daily Challenge. If you add these two together, what would it be? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be received. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RBTV would like to wish you all a wishful Wednesday. Have a fantastic day!